Hey everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome to Hammerhelm, a game that I don't know much about beyond the fact that it is a third-person colony builder where, from what the devs said when they gave me the key, and also, by the way, thank you for the key, is that you're building up a colony of dwarves. And so, I love colony builders, even though I've never played one from this perspective. So yeah, I'm really excited to give this a try, so let's go ahead and dive right on in. New character, of course. Uh, I mean, I kind of want a beard if I'm going to play as a dwarf, right? Tunic color. That, I guess. Yeah, I guess that works for the hair color. I like the basic beard. So, let's go with that. I don't spend a lot of time on character creation, typically. So, here we go. Arathas the Dwarf. I actually don't know if there's a storyline in this game, but then again, this is early access alpha, so there could be, yeah, obviously there's a lot of stuff that'll be missing and there's going to be some bugs, but we'll see what happens. Banished from your homeland for the rebellious act of suggesting dwarves could live above ground, you've spent months wandering and seeking new fertile lands to start your life in the open air. All right. You have finally found such a spot far enough away from the stronghold as to not anger your old clan, but close enough that your success will attract others who, like you, are tired of living underground. As you build the town, they will happily come seek you out and live in their new home. They are not the only ones watching, however. As your town grows in wealth, so will the threat from the goblins and orcs. Damn orcs. They have already begun building small encampments to prepare to attack the first dwarves who aren't protected by the underground fortress. Okay. Wow, that is a lot of information at the bottom. P to open the build menu. How to build. Select the building you wish to place and click craft. Move the desired cursor to the desired lo move the mouse cursor to the desired location and left click to place. Building footprints cannot overlap. Roads can overlap with each other, but not with footprints. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty cool that it zooms out to this view. Don't I kind of... Wouldn't I need a home to start with? Food. Shops. Wall. Oh, good lord. Wooden house. Can I make a stone house? What are my resources? 93. I could make a stone house. Feels like a good idea to jump straight to stone rather than with wood. However, how much stone would I have left after building a... Storehouse. Allows the storage of resources and items. You can have up to three storehouses. Okay, mm let's just do that, I guess. Unless there is a woodcutter. Wood chopper would work. Alright, let's start with homes. Homes should be the number one. Let's go with a stone house. Oh, needs a stonemason shop. Let's go with a wood house. Needs a storehouse. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with a storehouse then. Craft. Uh huh. How do we rotate it? I can rotate the camera. Uh left control and right click to change the roof color, not really doing anything. Hmm. Z and C to rotate the building. Uh, maybe in a centralized location, or should we start up here at the top? And just expand from like a corner spot. Hmm. I'm gonna put it like right here. Okay. Now can I build some homes? I feel like that's the road right there. What will your town be called? Well, as always, Sanctuary. Okay, so these are our new townspeople. We can choose two. Meticulous and healthy, clumsy and claustrophobic, or fast and green thumb. Uh, maybe not the clumsy and claustrophobic. 
sometimes makes master work. Hey, hey Leo Fu. And a Dolph. Walks and runs faster than most dwarves. Hey, lady, if you didn't suck, I would have brought you. So how do I exit? There we go. Can I go see these buildings? Okay. Speak Le with Leofu the worker to ask about the activity outside of town. Oh, we have quests. Hello, Rothus. There's something I can help you with. A uh, quest. This is the perfect stop to build our town, but I saw some goblins to the east. I think they followed us here and they don't look friendly. Aha. Alright, well, I'll go do that in a second. Let me talk to this dude. I can gather wood or stone. Okay, we'll build this stuff first. Alright, let's equip the weapon and the shield. Apparently there there is stuff to be had. I was right, that is the road, that little strip of white at the front. Find the three monster camps near town and destroy them. Is that symbol just my town? It's just my town. Can I go in the buildings? Yes, I can. I was about to say, nope, it won't let me, but no, it definitely will. Hey, move, Adolf. It is an interesting idea for a game. I, the viewpoint is a little odd, as I've mentioned, but I like it. And I've always liked games where, like, because there are a few city builders that let you do that. Build your city, colony, whatever, and then go into, like, a first-person mode to, like, look around. I've always liked being able to walk around the village you build. How to fight. Middle click or R to use power attack. Right click to block. Left click to hit. Dodge, left or right. And dash attack knocks down the monster. Okay. Not really much of a sense of impact there, but it doesn't need to. Okay, that didn't work. Got him. Yeah, things did not end well for the goblin. And that's okay. Hey, where are you going? Open the chest, damn it. Loot all. Leather. Thank you. I'll definitely take the leather. Oh, there's more monster camps, are there? Okay. Well, that one's easy to see. Let's go. Maybe let's build up some stamina before we go. Okay. Why are you purple? Nice, holy crap. We finish him? We finish. Hey! I said finish him. <laughs> I'm gonna need a new weapon soon. I think that's what that means. I also need to heal. How does one heal? Do I just go back to our town and rest? So I really hope that's how it works, otherwise I am kinda screwed. My dude is in no position to fight. Should I build another house? I think I should build another house. Uh, let's see, I really can't. I can build another house. I probably need food, though. Hmm. Frankly, I probably need both. Otherwise, I'm not going to be getting many more villagers. Is there a way to just straight up build roads? Ooh, here we go. Weak and fast. Animal lover. Abhors hunting or hurting animals. Okay, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Hates doing manual labor, but he will grow crops. So I'll take you.
Okay, he can't carry a lot of resources, but he will walk and run faster, which will make him more efficient for me. Left shift R to enter road placement, the game says. Oh, requires a stonemason. Well, that sucks. How do I heal? Can I go into a house and just rest? Because I want to put a road right here, by the way. So. No. Huh. Well, I guess we're going to go after the last camp, but I'm going to have to be real careful. I'm also going to need to get some food. Probably should have built a farm before I built another house, huh? Yeah, wait, but hey, we have a dude who's ready to be a farmer already. Hmm. Move on up over here. Rest up. See how many dudes we got to fight up over here. Probably two, because every one of them's had two so far. Dodge. Dodge! Why do you not dodge? I died because I could not get him to do his special attack. Uh, what? Ah, takes him a minute to stand back up. Apparently, there's not much of a death penalty. Okay. I see. Oh, you can jump. I don't see much of a reason to, but you can. Just head on over here. Heal up a bit. There we go. What the hell? My dude didn't, doesn't want to charge this time. Okay. I can't seem to do the power attack anymore. Weird. Yeah, I was hitting the key that let... Oh, I guess I have healing potions. Where do I put this? Oh, placing the hot bar up here. No? No, not gonna. Okay, I can't assign stuff to the hot bar. Place it number. Yeah, no, I see it. Nope. Alright, I think we found our first early access bug with this. Something has the workers too scared to enter the storehouse. Investigate it. Ugh, do I have to? <laughs> Is that a mine over there? Entrance to a dungeon, perhaps? Oh, take a look at it. We have very little gold. Which I imagine is something that's really, really demoralizing for dwarves. Alright, guys. 
You guys aren't really doing much. Oh. I'm gonna die again. Okay, my shield did not do a thing to block that. <laughs> At all, my shield just... no. Not useful. It'd be really cool if I could use a healing potion. Press P to open the build menu, place another house in a metal worker's shop, and wait for them to be constructed. I built the house, but I don't have a metal worker shop. Okay. Do my people not need food? Is that not something dwarves require? Put this over here on the other side of the square. I'd love to heal, guys. I really would. Something got real weird with our interface. What is going on here? Hold on. Yeah, no, it's freaking out a little bit, so give me a second. Maybe I need to... Well, I think we can make... Oh, there it goes. It fixed itself just by going into the options menu. All right, cool. Press Shift V to open the town menu and assign a metal worker. Do I have someone who can? Oh, I have the dude who can sometimes make. Um, I think it's Leof Wu who can sometimes make master work. No, I don't want to rename you. Yeah, no, I got him. There we go, Leof Wu. He's the one who can sometimes make masterwork items. Hey, dude. We talk? Thank you for getting rid of those ghosts in the storehouse. Yep, copper items. Thanks for building this shop. I can craft better items for you if you find some copper ore. The mine entrance is blocked, but I know where you can find some ore nearby. Okay. Off to do some quests. And possibly die miserably because I have no health <laughs> and I can't seem to use a healing potion or even assign one to my hot bar still cannot that is so weird to me right clicking it doesn't do yeah no I wonder if it's if there's something in here about adding it Nope, I just can't use them. Okay, I mean, I'd love those 55 hit points. Sure, I'll mine with an axe. That should be alright. Couldn't possibly be bad for the axe. Okay. Copper ore, I'll take it. I missed one, it looks like. Let's go take a look at the ocean, though. Oh, those are some ruins. Probably some stuff over there wants to kill me. Eh. Let's just go get the copper. Oh, it's right here. Miner, okay. Now what? Craft a new item. Can I have armor? Cause I'm just getting my ass handed to me. Let's, let's give me some armor. Hello, dude. Craft. You didn't tell me what to craft. Probably cause there's not a lot of options. <laughs> Copper hammer. Copper axe. Copper sword. I like the idea of getting the sword. 
But I could also get some armor. I don't suppose there's a breastplate. No? Decorative copper armor. Yeah, no thank you. I don't need decorative anything. Let's go with uh, copper horned helm. And copper shoulder armor. Clear the mines. Oh, that is not going to be an easy task. Because my dude is almost dead. Now he's down to 1 HP. Actually, what was that? Speak with Adolf the Worker. Hey, dude. They said talk to you. Clear the mines. I can clear the mines for you. Just give me a moment. Oh. Okay. That easy, huh? Okay. Now let's do this. Let me in. Because I'm probably going to have to kill some stuff in there. I mean, I could have done that. Enter and clear the mines. Oh, apparently I also need to talk to Liofwu. Oh, I am so going to die. Abandoned a long time ago, these mines are now home to many vile creatures that will kill me. Before your townspeople can begin mining here, you must make it safe. Six monsters. Nope, leave me alone. Yep, I died. <laughs> Now that I have full health, this shouldn't be a problem. Dude, get up. <laughs> so I kind of like that you do have to quest whether you like it or not. Uh, come on, dude. Use the damn power attack. There we go. He'll use it. But not if you use the middle mouse button. Well, for me, at least. What do you mean five monsters left? I came in here and it said six. I killed two. Well, I mean, I might as well pick up the copper ore while I'm here. Do they mean six groups? Whoa. Nope. They don't mean groups. Okay. Well, they might. Let's see what happens after I kill these two. Okay, that dude just... Likes to hit me in the side, and my shields don't help with that. Kill it. Whoa! Dick move! Son of a... <laughs> I need to dodge. There is a there is a distinct lag, though, between when you press the button and when you actually do the activity. Like, even with the dodge, there's a slight lag in that, in my, what I'm playing right now. Eight monsters left, man. But it's especially true when I'm trying to pull up my shield. Or use my power attack. And right there, it just didn't do the power attack at all, despite the fact that I had it ready to go and hit R a couple times. So, yeah, I don't know. We shall see the... Oh, God. I'm going to break my shield soon, I'm pretty sure. But I feel like the shield, I need to be... Kill it. There you go. Yeah, at least I'm getting some decent loot out of this place. 
like in terms of copper. I can always use that, especially get an upgraded weapon. Probably an upgraded shield, too, and the rest of my armor. Because I can still get bracers. Kind of weird that I didn't see a breastplate, but maybe that's a different building provides that. Alright. Getting the hang of this. Well, bring it. You guys apparently see me. You and me now, purple dude. Just you and me. Nice. I shall take it all. Still don't have the gold to build a farm, which is really weird. Maybe our dwarves are subsisting on metal. <laughs> And then press Shift V to open the town menu and assign a miner. I have one for that. Not the green thumb. I have two green thumbs. Uh, maybe the dude who's weak but fast. I mean, he's not claustrophobic, so. All right. So now we need to talk to Liofwu about the new ore and the metal. Let's take a look. Hey, dude. Quest. I was experimenting with some odd ore I found near your cave, and I believe I can improve your helmet if you can find me more. All right. But before we do that, how about you make me more copper ingots? Okay. Make me some potions, even though I can't use them so far. Huh. I'm gonna craft the sword. I could use a better weapon. Okay, we have the bracers and a better shield, but I can't afford the better shield, so let's make the bracers. Oh, I can make more. I can make one for each side. We should probably do that. Find the cave near town and look for this. Okay, let's go look for it. Again, I'm about to die, though. It's weird. Every time I put on armor, new armor, my dude's about to die. And I still can't use that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna die over here again, but... And look for creatures who may have the strange ore. Which means I'm gonna have to fight, which means I may die. Is that like a town over there? There's somewhere... Somebody else building a settlement? No, that's a ruined town. Well, let's... Charge off and see what we can find. Stamina's gone. Yeah, it feels like my health is what I am suffering the most from right now. Let's let our stamina recharge completely. Yep, keep going. Good lord, these people are way the hell out here. Oh. oh, hi. The Cave of Despair... Really? The Cave of Despair looks newly inhabited. The stench of evil permeates every crevice. Be wary. Oh, what the f... This may have been a mistake. Crap. Because he was off to the side, my shield didn't do anything. Man, that's going to be a long-ass walk to get that. But, 
That is all the time I have for today, though. I'm actually enjoying this game so far. I think we're we'll definitely going to do a few more episodes of this game, at the very least, because I really want to build out the rest of my city. I want to put up some walls and stuff. I really want to see what we can do with the build. Um, yeah, with the building portion of the game. So, yeah, uh, count on there being more of this. I don't know how long the Let's Play is going to be for this series, simply because... I don't know how much content's actually in the game right now, because it is, like, early access alpha. So, eh, we'll see. But either way, as I was saying, that's all the time I have for today. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. With that, I'll see you guys next time for some more Hammer Helm. Should be an interesting approach. Hopefully I can get a farm or something soon. Either way, we'll see how that goes. Thanks again for watching.